Mm, bait goes out with a Pagna in the end. All right. I, what I really like about uh, Bait's draft is the fact that they have many, many ways of shutting down the stroll until they're at BKB. Then you can like get in there and, and punch away afterwards. I mean, I am still anticipating that this is going to be a dangerous lane for Navi once you get level two on that Shadow Demon. Uh, so oh, bottom. The Salver. Ants. Getting real low with the zip in. Oh, then Pasha able to clean it up afterwards. Man, we've been seeing more and more of this. The 1-1-0 one, one, oh build to start as Pasha gets very low there. Is that it gives you opportunities to actually make use of your two damage abilities. You're not just like hiding the entire time and trying to stack up the reactive armor as fast as possible. And then you know that once they get to level three, you're not just dead. Mid lane oh, as well. Mid lane. Dendi getting right clicked here. Uh, he does not have enough mana. He has another Aether Remnant, actually, in eight <laughs> seconds. And he's just going on a walk. Where are you going, man? Is anyone going to rotate for this? <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, unless someone else comes. I don't think Oh, Crystallize might be dead. That's why. Up top as well. Four stacks right now. A fifth one comes out and they get the kill as Excalibur also takes down Slayer Bottom. All right, we got some CIS Dota here. Something to uh, watch indeed. Getting overextended in either of these lanes. Uh, feels like the supports are very capable of dying. And I guess also, as we saw, the Bristleback, if he gets a little bit too Ghosting? far forward. Up top. More right clicks. He's All right, dead. he goes down also. Four kills, three minutes. Uh, and he's down a Sentry Ward as Dendi is almost level six now. Gets it at this moment. And, well, he's not going to be able to get a kill on a Magical right away, but he is at least going to be really annoying. Keep on life draining if you want. Yeah, probably gonna be hoping for the rune. They have Bottom. a ward up top though. Galibur goes down again. So Pasha and Slayer able to find that kill and three points in chain. He does have a bottle at the very least, but he's kind of been hurting a little bit now. Yeah, they brought the disruptive to assist in case there's a dive, but they're not exactly getting a lot of value out of this rotation. They're gonna straight up smoke. It is pinged by Centaur, so it looks like he was paying attention to that. Ron likely to die up top. Dendi makes the rotation, trying to find the kill onto Rubik and Slayer is going to fall, but Pasha looks like he gets away. Meanwhile, over the other side of the map, Magical and Ilias get together to kill off the Shadow Demon. So, yeah. all right, oh, so where's my cool. save hero? There's an Oracle back here. Do they have vision? They, they don't know exactly what's up. Oh, well, now they see Dendi. They run into LeBron. He's going to get found right at the start. Can they get these kills? Remnant going to be off the mark, but they do get the glimpse pullback onto Dendi. Ilias just drops down the ulti right on top of himself. And this does not appear to be working for Na'Vi. Uh, Y'all need to get the hell out of here as they turn back with the Timber Saw, trying to take down Dendi and Excalibur. Not happening. So they Pasha lose went the in. It's not how Slayer got down here. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, it all fell apart. Oh, poor Navi. Well, in the meantime, Navi just continue to stand up on this high ground here. Uh, ooh, Shadow Blade opening. All right, oh, Dendi. Like, later, Dendi. Just ult Amelius. Give it to him. Wait, what? Oh, he thought he thought there were five. Oh, okay, that makes He's sense. He's like kind of right. There's some coming from the side. Well, that's unfortunate for them. Uh, Crystallize. No, they got him. Oh, my God. Navi. Oh, that's really bad. Oh man, they're gonna lose the disruptor and then afterwards they're gonna lose the troll. Crystallize drops. Shadow Blade will not save you this time. Someone got cold feet there. First person to buy an abyssal blade just wins. <laughs> oh, Danny's getting the ages. Nice. But it looks like Fate gonna try and just take down the tower now, force out the glyph. And finally, the lanes are in the somewhat okay space. Bottom is still pushing in kind of hard against B8, but I don't think it's going to be enough to stop them from going in right now as Ghost Stick. I, I think they need a Rax here. Oh, oh. They lose. Stomp. Slow down. Stolen Hoof Stomp. Dendi just going to keep up the aggression. Oh, the back double though, silence. They find the Oracle. Heal back up at the last second by Dendi to get the heal onto him with that life drain. Muted on the other side, though, so the secondary save is going to be killed off. King R buys back Pasha, trying to go on to Excalibur now. Swirl of abilities. LeBron lives through it. And with Shadow Demon buying back and now walking in, the Hoof Stomp comes out from Ghost Stick. Let's have the Lotus that's on him, keeping him alive and fine. Pasha now turning again, trying to do what damage they can, but Dendi's going to be pulled back in a little bit closer. Hoof Stomp used by Slayer. The continued pressure comes out. Pasha zipping through everybody. That's Aegis down. Round two, Ghost Stick goes in for another Hoof Stomp. Can they control him? They get the silence onto King R. It'd be a good kill if he could get they, they got a rally the back. on this creep wave. 
Okay, imprisonment. Keeping him alive for the moment. The disruption's out there. The jump in from Magical to kill off LeBron. That's a secondary save. Another big jump in from Ghostic. Continued aggression. And Crystallize oh, finally forced off the Zulti. But the disarm is there. And it looks like he's going to be able to be brought down. So finally, B8 take down the troll. And now Navi just going to retreat away. Try and back out. Pasha. Throws his own Lotus out. Ghost Stick is there afterwards for the hoof stomp, and they might have finally been able to have enough damage to bring down. Well, nope, nope, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Pasha's getting away. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. As everybody's going to need to come back to help defend against this if they want to keep their racks alive. Troll Warlord does have a TP as well, but he's starting to run back as magical. Already retreating. The wraparound is coming. And after getting the range racks, it looks like bait are going to stop the pressure. Dude, they gotta be so careful here. You can just get ripped apart if you're not careful on bait. Well, magical on the other side, crystallized there. They find him right at the start, Excalibur onto him. Some good control, pops to the BKB, and now the turn onto these safe heroes yet again, trying to take down King R as well as LeBron. Crystallized now beating into Dendi. He doesn't have an answer for that. He Dagon's him to no avail as they try and chase. Oh no, and now running forward, they've got Excalibur in their sights. This is still a really hard kill for them. It looks like Navi not gonna attempt to go for it. We are seeing the, the frustration of Pasha playing underneath this nether ward though. Kind of annoying to have to play against. Yeah, he is holding like arcanes and soul ring though, and, and even that low sword he just said, like he's got a lot of stuff to help out in terms of his mana. Oh, Stampede initiation. They find the Rubik right to start, blow him up with the Dagon. Now magical. Got two big tanky guys right in front of him. Gonna see if he can find that backline. Huge silence onto all three and Magical chasing him down, but the save comes out at the last second there. They're trying to take down the rest of these heroes over on the left side of the fight. The jump in comes as the Abyssal Blade is out onto the troll, but Crystallize still living through this one. Magical chasing, trying to find Dendi, not quite able to get the angle onto him. Now, as the continued rundown happens, they're going to get the glimpse pullback onto Dendi, fully encapsulated in heroes, but another save and a great hoof stomp. The BKB comes out. They take down Dendi. They're going to try and take down Ghost Stick and Excalibur, the last one standing nearby. Can they bring down the big tanky Bristleback? I mean, it's still looking like it's tough. I, I don't know if they're going to be able to do it, but huge win regardless for Na'Vi. As... Let him go. <laughs> Tell your people what happened here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come back across my river. I mean, they're going to get the Shadow Demon at least, so he goes down as well. Calvers like, what, what happened? Everybody died. <laughs> I mean, what's, again, he has the Abyssal, so he can like kind of get that one target, but he's not the burstiest of heroes when you have all this mobility going through on the side of Na'Vi and the, the lack of stuns. Still needing to adjust to what's going on in the actual patch. And previously it was, all right, 25 minutes, you're, you're winning. Things are looking great. Now you're winning at 25, you're... Losing a tier three at 35, and they've got Aegis, and they jump onto that Oracle right at the start. You just can't be there. Hoofstomp comes out, they do explode the Void Spirit. All right. It was all a bait. Give <laughs> it's him in the, the name. <laughs> it's a emotional back. victory. Not sure how much of a difference it can make. Maybe you can get something off it. That Pasha just like oh. TP'd right in front of Excalibur. I, I did look at the Power Rangers coming in bottom though. Protect Dendi. That's all. what happens when you start a team. Damn. Everyone TPs. And they find one kill, get the second. Oh, Rubik. Done. Okay, so <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're taking some gains. This is that what works. they need. Well, I mean, I guess that's what happens when they're on your side of the map, right? Hey, like, yo, but they got a bounty rune. Let it never be said that King R did not get that bounty. Oh, hi. How's it going, oh, sir? I thought he was out. That pesky Rubik and that blink range with the Aetherland. Magical. Jumps in onto Dendi. BKB pops immediately. BKB a piece as Crystallize has a DD. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> oh, that guy is something. scary. Can be extra sneaky. I love this. Like, they see that item pop and then they immediately go jungle. Go get items. If, if uh, Ilias had the uh, Aghanims, oh, oh man, that's that a long opening. disruption. Jumping in, Dagon blown up, Abyssal, Magical dead. No buyback. Navi got to get out. Over on the top side here, Ilias is going to get 
continued chased. They have a four staff forward. He doesn't have a way out of here easily. Glimmer Keep, uh, double round actually. Dude, stop saving your buddies. Let them go. Run, Static Storm down. They buy back on Magical. He actually gets the buyback back up again. Oh, okay, that should jump through and they get the ulti down onto the troll, but I don't think it's going to matter. King R is in a world of hurt. My God, Pasha is godlike right now. He's got his Aghanim Scepter. They do they kill Slayer, though. Slayer, Dendi trying to BKB and run away. Just going to TP out afterwards, realizing it's not going to work. Ghostic also TPing out because guess what? They don't have a way to break it. <laughs> buyback from Slayer. I mean, one thing that's dangerous is nobody on Navi has buyback right now. Um, but I don't know if it's going to matter. Definitely Roche is the safer play, but the hoof stomp there onto two. Stolen hoof stomp by Rubik. He's ready to jump in. He gets an opening. Glimpse pulls in Ghost Stick. Uh, stampede the runaway. They get the nullifier on, but it's a little bit late. Ghost Stick just, yeah, they, they, just, they just want buildings. So he's trying to delay as much as he can, but uh, Chris lies to able to focus them down. And now if they send this courier back over Roche, they're going to know that it's up. Probably check anyways. Oh, no, never mind. Radiant See somebody coming uphill. Scalibur, hello. Smoke broken. They have no vision right now in Bane. Oh, oh nice god, silence. Oracle just gets destroyed. Ghostic trying to save something, but it's not working quite in time. Magical. It's hit by the Demonic Purge. Now the Banishment on the two of them. Galber still living through this one. Slayer trying to run away. They're controlling that Bristleback as BKB eventually comes. You see Shadow Demon able to walk away before the Nullifier hit him. BKB from Crystallize turns now to fight on a Ghost Stick and Pasha with almost no mana actually doesn't have that many angles to play in here, but they'll still kill off Ghost Stick, be able to find the pullback oh, now dead. onto Dendi. And with that, no buyback on the Pugna. They might have finally gone a bit too far and the call is let's get some more buildings. Now we're good. Like you still have to watch out for all his, his helpers and stuff, but for the most part, this game was just uh, all about that first Aegis timing and push and, and they were closer than I anticipated. I'll give him that. Yeah. But it's rough now. Oh, it's real tough. Real rough. Pasha still living. Main thing that's holding them back is right now is Bloodstone Charges. Could use a few more of them, but controlling Crystallize, not able to get the kill. He is just going to walk away yet again. Navi, 14,000 net worth up right now. So they need to try and find one of these kills on a target who doesn't have this Aegis or Cheese. Oh, it's an Ag Synth too. I feel like that's, um, that's oh, mm, Disruptor Excalibur. hasn't purchased anything. Excalibur running in. Uh, Got to be careful. Team? Muted for the moment. Controlled. Crystallized. They run in. Aegis snatched by Crystallized. He got the last hit. Excalibur oh, got it. It's going to be enough. All right. Goo everywhere. Goo them all. <laughs> get in there, Excalibur. Make it happen. Making it into all these heroes. But I don't know if it's good enough. Close. Build up. Dendi. He's back alive. BKB trying to run away. Controlling up Crystallize, actually. And that kind of worked. At least, thank God, in the time of nonstop online Dota, they buffed the shit out of Rapier for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely makes all these games great. If we can't have land Dota, at least we get a Rapier every second match. I'd want to see him start to just, like, spam out goo a little bit here. Although, I guess it becomes a mana issue eventually, but... B keeping those those over uh, Warpath stacks, rather, up is pretty important. Yeah, you're not wrong. All right, broken. Jumped onto him. Turn. Rapier. Right click. Is it enough? It is. Excalibur gets the kill. Now running down here onto this troll. They didn't respect the rapier. Looking for more. This guy right clicks. He's a monster. Chase down. Coming. Crystallize in trouble. A few more of them. Turns to try and fight. He does have his ultimate still if he wants to use it, but no mana for the moment. Stampede run away. They pull back in the bristle, but BKB comes out and he's living. Now Oracle under control, throws out the save onto Dendi, gives up his own life for the cause. Navi Buildings. tempting to take this, but the glyph is there. So uh, bait just got a little bit baited there, right? Drawn out of the safety of the high ground for the buyback on the timber. Throw out the goo, make it happen. Chase there, crystallize, punch, control, going down dead. Will have his ulti when he comes back out of it. They do take down oh, the Oracle. That's a gone, dieback. Though. No chance for it. Can they deal with Excalibur? The glimpse pulls him back in. Round two, he's dead. Rapier on the deck. And with that, GG is called. Easy peasy for Navi in the end. It was a little <laughs> bit tenuous, but they made it happen. They, uh, they forced at all the right moments.
they had a couple like missteps, I guess, like where the couple of heroes died down bottom and Chris just like ran away and and everything, but uh, they, they kept up the kind of aggression that it felt like bait maybe needed a little bit more of. Oh, Trent, we, we, we mm. see some new things a little bit. There's a Dragon Knight, there's a Queen of Pain. That matchup's going to be boring as hell, surely. Uh, but there's a Venomancer. Man, this guy's back. Pasha pulls away Excalibur, get aggro. And yeah, going for this sort of max potential damage build out of Excalibur with the one, two, and then probably going to go back to the points and bristle afterwards as mid lane Dendi live in pretty low on HP, but there's not really anything that magical can do threaten him unless there's Man. like a severe outplay. Dendi's crazy though. <laughs> he was oh. so close to the mana. Missed a deny up top, crystallized there. Uh, he'll get the deny onto his AA. So two times now where the Gale is not going to get them to kill. And dude, actually Earthshaker, <laughs> dude, is he just going to kill him or is he going to die? Oh God. Hog champ to Omega Lol. And now he can like just that. get denied. So hit him, send him home. <laughs> Free regen. Man, AA is so good. This hero's the boss. 40 second ultimate right now is so valuable in the way that like Dota's being played. There's like fights constantly, global, and there's skirmishes all over the map at the start of the game too. Your laning abilities are nice now. The only downside is you don't have like this stun right away as a support, but so many of our cores we pick now have stuns that uh, you can you can work off of. But nice kill, down bot. Overextension and speaking of which, Ilias here is coming to get denied. Kill me, crystallize, please. Take my life away. Is he going to be able to get it? Runs back in the bash, the bash, the chase down. Oh no, the overextension from the Earthshaker again. Oh, they're not and... even gonna get the deny. Oh God, that hurts for bait, it hurts. All right, that feels really bad. That's so Disaster. much gold. All right, but sneaky AA got another one placed up here. Okay. Dick. Up against Slayer, has these pumped up in the wards. They move in. Now, a little bit of a miscue here, as this is gonna be Venno in pretty far. They have Chrono if they wanna use it, gonna catch onto both of these heroes. The Shadow Poison is building up. Now turning onto the level two Shaker by a bash, but nothing doing. Going I don't know move. where he can rotate, because his Venno is not much of a help, and the Void Spirit's still gonna be a really hard kill with level six. This should be free, though, one would hope. Oh, um, he has already used Blink. He does have the Sonic Wave, throws it out, takes down one. Oh, they See get that in. kill. Unfortunately, our man, the Earthshaker, the hero, is going to be taken out. Maybe he gets a courier kill. Oh, no, okay. I'll walk away. So they, they take down the Earthshaker. I, I was going to say, though, that like it does feel like this Earthshaker just hasn't really been able to get uh, all that much time for himself. I mean, he's still got Tranquil Boots. He's got the Magic Stick, but just level four already at 10 minutes. Um, yeah. Oh, Sonic Wave, though. Ooh, Dendi hesitating. I mean, it looks like low, but that was still 400 and some HP, so yeah. it was not free. Asha takes down Ghost Stick. So one of the heroes that was starting to kind of pop off for and it feels it just feels like they want to go for these big kills but they're just they haven't really been able to find an opening on the navi navi have been doing a good job of like hiding back from oh, the chrono. bad fights and the chrono comes in with the ice blast afterwards breathe fire onto both dendy's done ghost stick also to fall and excalibur the only one less alive he might kill off Ilias, but he might not Ilias is just walking away they pull back in excalibur he's in a ton of trouble and he also is going to drop Three dead, and Na'Vi starting off looking good in this game, too. Slayer, Crystallize, and Ilias all just sitting back mid. They're going to smoke up instead as four. Crystallize, Scup Hill is magical. Bots out that Pugna. He has his Blink Dagger, stunned to open it. Trying to move in with this Earthshaker. He does have, well, Echo, but oh god, he's just dead. He just goes down. He's not jungling either, right? Which is like another good part about Venno, but there's like no time because they're trying to rush down these towers. So they, they're going to have to try and like find a favorable fight. They can't just like keep running at these towers and uh, and getting killed by one spell. Yeah, I mean, it was sort of like a little, hey, that's nice that you get this like passive part of it now, but uh, clearly oh, as you're mentioning. A, that's a free kill. Oh my God. 
She just got pulled into Ice Blast. That was nice. It looks like they don't care, or at least they, they gave up checking. You know, in a way, it's like if they get that Roche earlier, it almost ends up being better for Navi. All right, Excalibur, what you got, my man? Got the Aegis, the Heaven's Halberd, and a Vanguard. Wraparound is coming, though. Oh, Crystallize and Ilias, they have an inkling as to where all of bait is. They walk up, place down a ward, spot some vision, magical. Oh, gets his Blink Dagger broken. Okay. That's one strength of the Veno. But they gotta be careful now. Jump in, Chrono onto two, Ice Blast afterwards onto all of them. This is your big tanky boy. Can't go down now, he is gonna die. And now they chase forward for more. Crystallize trying to take down that ward. Decrep onto the side, but they find LeBron going to try and get the kill and they will oh, BKB nice. out. Yo, it ain't they're, looking good for Bane. Nah, they're, they're just Navi. spreading. Stolman is sitting by the side the entire time this fight is the Earthshaker, and they oh, were so well no. set. And then they just pull him back in. He just wants to echo something. No, he gets cold, defeated, and going to drop. Dendi lifted up into the air. Dude, the time dilation is brutal. Bash comes through right as Blink was coming off of cooldown. Navi are going to kill everybody. And they didn't take one souls. Two to 16. Oof. I mean... The Earthshaker did 258 damage in that fight with two fish. Look at the Queen did 530. I mean, <laughs> oh don't point him out. Look at everyone else. Everyone yeah. except Excalibur, and that's only because he throws out damage when he dies. That's painful. I mean, you know, you, we, we open up these things to like look at what's all right. Well, it's just uh, a kill on a Slayer. Nice. And LeBron's, LeBron's throwing like, up the yeah, tips. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. That's amazing. Good job, LeBron. Way to keep the spirits up. It's got a paladin for it too. I'm actually surprised it's only a 7k lead, to be honest. That gives me hope. Well, what there, there was top? some hope. Ice Blast! <laughs> Not necessary. Did you see how magical just like, or how Pasha just like walked away? He didn't even bother right clicking him. He was like, yeah. oh, don't worry, Dragonite's got this. Oh, wow. I mean, that regen, you know, it's valuable. <laughs> He's got 24.7 <laughs> HP regen with his tranquils. Lousers. Top lane. Something eerily similar to what we saw before. Zendi goes down. Uh, I, I did see for Venno, at least, he got his level 15 talent. So, like, the ward summons... Uh, oh, goody. <laughs> He's got the Kale cooldown, too. Oh, LeBron. Oh, LeBron. Ice Blast in again. Punches coming out fast and furious. The Pugna is donezo. Magical. Literally none of his team is here. Void Spirit just now showing up, but he just pops his ulti and just starts beating the tier three tower and they don't have an answer. Well, Chris Lide's build is pretty much done at this point. Oh, we got to oh, dive. Not again. 21. 20, we're almost there, folks. <laughs> Save oh, here, here she blows. Jumping. Round two. Ice Blast in onto both of them. Well, you better invest now. It's only for a second as it looks like they're probably going to lose this Bristleback afterwards. Punches are there broken. Oh, they do back up. Buyback coming from the Queen of Pain as well as the Venomancer. All right. Navi respecting the potential danger. Excalibur is running out after people. Slayer just going to take There we go. Oh, all right. Oh, just give it to him, dude. Come on. One more time. One more time oh. is all they need. Dendi died again. How did Dendi die? Oh no. Okay. Um, Stun comes out now onto Earthshaker, and with round two of this initiation, it is looking really hard. Echo Slam, not enough. They are going to lose probably three here at the very least, if not Ooh, more. The nice. stuns are out on the ghost stick. There's no buyback from the Queen of Pain. Triple kill for Magical. God, this is a hell of a beatdown. This is a hell of a beatdown. I just think Valve should step in and start ending the games when it's at 0%. <laughs> they yeah. should set a new win condition. GG. Oh, yeah, looks like Ice Frog just messaged Dendi, gave him the sad news. Oh. Yeah, you got a GG, bud. I mean, it hurts. It, and this is one of those games that just, it feels really bad for the Quop too, because, like, you, you have to be the one that goes in. But when that happens, one in seven, you know?